finally, Dragon Ball Super is back after a one-week break, and we're picking up with some real momentum here as this Trunks Black Goku arc continues. We're talking Dragon Ball Super episode 53. Let's see if I can hit this Japanese title with the deep Japanese voice again. All right, here we go. Budaku no Shotayo Abake. Iza Daiju Uchu no Kaio Shinkaie. I love talking like that. Anyways, folks, that translates to Reveal Black's True Identity. Now to the Kaioshin Realm of Universe 10. And finally, folks, we get to meet Zamasu, which, by the way, I just want to make a quick note here about Zamasu. Uh, the way they pronounce his name in Japanese is Zamasu. So, uh, much like, for example, Torankusu, which is like the Japanese phonetic version of Trunks, I wouldn't be surprised if when Funimation dubs Dragon Ball Super, they call him Zamas. So you might see him called Zamas uh, and not Zamasu. Either way, it's fine. It's not really a big deal. But as far as this episode goes, a lot of new characters here introduced and very interesting teases for the future. Okay, so... The episode starts with Beerus, Whis, and Goku on their way to Universe 10. Of course, Goku's hungry. What a surprise. Uh, Whis talks about the martial arts ability of Zamasu, who is an apprentice Kaioshin. Now, I'm going to go into this a little bit more as, as this review goes on, but pretty much the way it appears to work is that Zamasu is an apprentice who's learning to be a Kaioshin, but he's not quite a Kaioshin. Now... This does somewhat contradict what Toriyama said a few years ago about how Kaioshin are born, but it's also a different universe, so maybe it's different there. Of course, in Universe 7, there are, you know, five Kais, five Supreme Kais, but four of them were killed by Majin Buu. If you saw Dragon Ball Z, you remember this. Uh, I'm assuming in Universe 10, there is no Majin Buu and they're okay, but there's not enough evidence yet. But I'm thinking that's what's going on, that Zamasu's being trained. So, uh, his master or whatever the taller yellow kaioshin the older one his name is gowasu uh herms had uh, actually leaked this on twitter a few days ago uh, his name is gowasu it's from the japanese uh which actually has the same pun as zamasu so pretty much what happens is we cut to zamasu and gowasu and they're drinking tea and they're having a very interesting conversation about human beings great music here by sumitomo uh there are some new tunes in dragon ball super that he's bringing in that i really like so let me know down below how you feel about Sumitomo soundtrack now. Those of you who didn't like his old songs, which I don't really blame you for because they were kind of meh, he's got some really good compositions uh, in this Dragon Ball Super arc. He's got some really good ones uh, for this Future Trunks arc. So... They're talking about humans, and Zamasu wants to know, you know, what's up with these humans? All they do is go to war, and they, you know, they fight, and they're always beefing with each other, which is an interesting concept because it looks like humans in all universes, not just Universe 7, and especially Universe 6, where we know that in Universe 6, humans had a big civil war and fucked up the planet. It seems like human beings are always fighting, and they're always doing stupid stuff like getting into wars and stuff. I mean, just look at our world. This is this is Toriyama telling us, giving us a reflection of the world. He's not the first one to do it, but it's cool whenever I see that. And, of course, uh, Zamasu asks Gowasu if they're really worth protecting, and Zamasu's pretty much like, or Gowasu's pretty much like, well, you're a god, and... They are our creatures, so there you go. Um, so it's interesting. Uh, he actually, you know, Zamasu talks about how he just wants to destroy them at one point. He's like, ah, they're just annoying me, uh, which again is a hint of things. And Gowasu tells him, um, you know, we are Kaioshins, which means we are gods of creation. A lot of Dragon Ball fans haven't picked up on this, even though it's been explained before, not only in some of the promotional material, but it's also been explained in Dragon Ball Super. Because people are always asking, what is a god of creation? Okay, Beerus, Shampa, those are gods of destruction. The gods of creations are the Kaioshin. The Kaioshin, the Kais, all the Kais, they create. They create planets, they create worlds. That's what they do. They are the gods of creation. So, uh, he tells Amasu, you know, only gods of destruction get to destroy things. We just create things. So, that's interesting. Once again, telling us. So, Goku, Beerus, and Whis land on Universe 10. Um, and, of course, the Universe 10 Kai knows, you know, Gowasu knows who Beerus is. Everybody knows who Beerus is, right? Uh, Black knows who Beerus is. Um, so, Gowasu introduces Amasu as his pupil to Goku. And Goku's, of course, you know, being very humble. He's, you know... Uh, you know, saying it's a pleasure to meet you, yada, yada, yada. And, of course, Goku wants to fight him because Goku always wants to fight everybody. That's what Dragon Ball's about, right? When Lord of, when God of Destruction Beerus, Lord, Lord Beerus showed up, 
Goku wanted to fight him. Same thing here. So, uh, Zamasu refers to Goku. Now, Herms was tweeting about this, and I want to real quick touch on this. He refers to Goku as a Ningen, which usually means human. So, in the Dragon Ball world, okay, I want you guys to understand this. When somebody's referred to as a human, it doesn't necessarily mean they're talking about human beings from Earth. For example, guys like the Ginyu Force, like Rikum, Birder, Jace, these guys are all human beings. They're Ningen, but they're not Earthlings. Earthlings are Chikujin. So just remember, in the Dragon Ball world, that if somebody refers to you as a Ningen, it doesn't really mean that you are a Earth human. Um, also, there's a part in this episode where Goku's referred to as a Saiyajin, but he's still a Ningen. So the, the best way to describe it in Dragon Ball, this is what Herm said, and I agree with him, is it's mortals. So whenever somebody refers to as Ningen, who kind of look like they're not Namekians, they're not Saiyajin, even though they both kind of count, they have you know two arms, two legs, a head, those are mortals. So just remember that when we're talking about Goku being referred to as a human. Don't get confused, okay? Um, and of course, Zamasu's confused about why fucking Beerus and these gods are hanging out with humans. Like, he doesn't think that gods and humans should interact, which takes me back to freaking Genesis, yo. Like, there's a lot of, there's a lot of very interesting themes being thrown in here. And it'll be interesting once Dragon Ball Super's over for me to cover some of this stuff because a lot of interesting stuff here that Toriyama and Toei's throwing in about this character Zamasu. I'm really liking this arc, yo. It's like so much more advanced than anything we've gotten in Super so far. So, anyways, Wiz tells the two Kais about Black and the fact that he has a Kaioshin time ring. Of course, the two Kais don't know anything about it, but they do wonder how the fuck did Black get his hands on a time ring. Like, that's very weird. And it does make me wonder if the Universe 6 or Universe 7 Kais have time rings. It's implied. We've never seen them, but I wonder if they're going to go talk to him or not. I'm wondering where that story's going. Of course, um... This irritates Zamasu a little bit. Uh, Be Beerus, of course, tells Goku that if you want to fight, it's going to have to wait. We need to see the time rings because Beerus wants to know if all the time rings they have are there. Uh, because, of course, like we talked about, Black and Zamasu have similar keys. So they're thinking that Zamasu might actually be Black. Most of us thought that. They check the time rings to make sure there's none missing and all the time rings are there. Um, very interesting. So Goku, of course, wants that match with Zamasu chasing him around. Gowasu then tells Zamasu, okay, go ahead and fight him so you get to know mortals a little bit better and know your limitations. So then Beerus tells Zamasu, you be careful because he's pretty strong and you might die. Of course, Zamasu's shocked because he never thought he'd hear a mortal say that. So that's interesting. Or have that said about immortals, what I meant to say. So when we come back from commercial break, uh, we cut back to Capsule Corp. Trunks and Krillin are there. Trunks wonders why the Universe 10 Kyle Shin is the same key as Black. Trunks, of course, is happy to hear that Krillin's married. Krillin's like, oh, I'm married and I have a kid. Um, and Krillin freaks out because he doesn't want to tell him who his wife is. Uh, this is one of those things that we've all kind of waited to see uh, this moment. Um, I did a video called The 10 things we want to see from future, future Trunks Dragon Ball Super, and in that video I covered this. So 18 walks in and Trunks is completely shocked, he's fighting, he grabs his sword, he's ready for a fight, um, and it's very interesting, and then Krillin's daughter runs up, and he's like, oh shit, they're a family, like, wait a minute, Krillin married an android, but I hate these things, but I have to accept my prejudice, or I have to let go of my prejudice towards androids and accept this. Um, Tr Trunks is like, what the fuck? It was great, 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 great moment. It does not compute. Of course, 18 confronts him, and he's like, I heard you killed me in your in your timeline. Uh, and uh, she's like, whatever, it's not a big deal. Um, and then we cut to the inside where Bulma and her dad and Maya peel off and she'll work on the time machine. Trunks goes outside thinking about Black, and we have this really cute moment here where Mai is... Um, you know, uh, following Trunks because she has a crush on him. There's a really funny scene that we thought we'd never see. Of course, Kid Trunks shows up and he's blushing over my. Uh, and I do wonder where this very awkward and strange love triangle is going. We got a 30 something year old man, we got like a 14 year old kid, and we have a 40, 50 year old something woman in the body of a 14 year old kid. That This is weird, yo, but fuck it. It's Dragon Ball and it's wacky. I don't care. So elsewhere, we go back to Universe 10. Goku powers up. It looks like he's an SS2. Um, Whis explains it's Super Saiyajin. So it's probably just one, but it looks like two. Goku says that he's Beerus' pupil. And then Zamasu's all shocked, but he gets his hands up. Uh, Goku comes in with a right hand. Zamasu blocks. Goku goes for a key blast. But, Ka but uh, Zamasu 
blocks it out of the way. He, he chops it out of the way, and Goku's like, man, that technique is like something that Black did. So Goku hits him with a big jab. Zamasu blocks, but Zamasu, when he blocks the jab, he's shocked at how strong Goku hit him. He's like, whoa, this guy can hit. Goku then senses Black's key in Zamasu. He's like, wait a minute. These guys have very similar key, which we all knew. Very weird how this story is going. Very interesting. Um, Goku then hits a back roundhouse kick. Uh, connects, or he gets blocked, but then he starts to club away on Zamasu. Left, right, left. Uh, Goku hits a big right hand and knocks down Zamasu. Zamasu cannot believe that there is a freaking mortal that is as strong or stronger than a god. Goku is really impressed because he realizes that Zamasu is way stronger than the Universe 7 Supreme Kai, than Kaioshin, the, uh, the, the pink guy. I mean, Kaioshin was always really weak in Dragon Ball Z, um, compared to, like, you know, Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, those guys. Um, Zamasu does not seem to be that weak. He seems to be a tough guy. So Goku, Beerus, and Whis uh, pretty much, you know, take off. Well, actually, let me, before I get there, there's a really interesting moment where Goku wants to help Zamasu up, and he's like, fuck you, he's about to hit him, but then... Uh, his Gowasu's like, yo, chill the fuck out. And then and then yeah, he the, Goku helps him up. So this guy Zamasu's pissed, and we're gonna get to that in a minute. So Goku, Beerus, and Whis leave Universe 10. They talk about some of the similarities between Black and Zamasu, but they can't prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that they are the same person. Beerus, on the other hand, says, Well, let's just destroy him before he does something that we might all regret. Now, it looks like they're implying that Zamasu is going to eventually become black. So maybe Zamasu really is black. I mean, we don't know. But again, Goku says they can't prove the same person. And Goku even tells Beerus that he seems like a bad guy. Or seems like not a bad guy. He seems like a good guy. So Goku does not think it's actually black. Um, but it's interesting, though. The, the, the story is getting very interesting because it's almost as if they're hinting that Zamasu is black or that Zamasu will become black. And maybe Zamasu will become black and then somehow create a time paradox where he goes into the future. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff that could be talked about here. I'm sure there's going to be tons of speculation. I'm positive. So pretty much what happens is uh, they leave, and then Zamasu and Gowasu are both surprised at the power of Goku. Um, the episode ends very ominously. Uh, you can sense that Zamasu is getting really annoyed at Son Goku and the fact that God status ain't shit compared to some of these really strong mortals. Uh, Zamasu says he does understand human beings now. And uh, in the episode, Herms had a trans... I didn't hear this, so Herms, Herms got this for me. He said... Uh, Zamasu said, uh, like I thought, humans are dangerous. Son Goku, you'll pay for this. So it looks like he has like a little beef with Goku. It's like, but why do you have a beef with Goku if all Goku did was just get strong? Like, what did Goku do wrong except get strong? Who knows? Next week, I'll be covering this more in my episode preview. Next week, SS Blue Vegeta will appear again. And he's going to be training Trunks. I'm really excited to see this Vegeta and Trunks character development. I always like their relationship. And because Vegeta's a lot softer now, it'll be a lot of fun to see how he reacts to Trunks. Uh, and, and really kind of is more of a caring father to his family and to his wife. So, very interesting. You know, he's being he's, he's a better guy than he was back in the day. So it'll be cool to see him kind of try to really help Trunks. Also, Gowasu and Zamasu are going to be using those time rings to go explore and figure out what the fuck's going on. So very interesting where this story is going. But like I said before, guys, I did say we were not going to find out who Black is in this episode. And I was right. This was a bait and switch. I knew it. I said it in my episode preview. Where they're going to hold off on the actual true reveal until later on. So we might not know for another two, three, four, five episodes. Who knows? But as of right now, they are hinting that Zamasu might be Goku Black. Or he might become Goku Black. Or he might be involved in the creation of Goku Black. But we have no confirmation about whether he is yet. They will reveal it at some point. So thank you for checking out the review. Subscribe to the channel. I got a video I want you guys to check out called Did Dragon Ball Super Ruin Gohan? Lots of Gohan fans are mad. Uh, I got a video. I want you guys to watch that video. And I think I broke it down really, really good. Did all my homework on Dragon Ball. So you should like that video a lot. Subscribe if you haven't. Share this review out. 
help the channel out. I'm almost at 100,000, but if you're going to subscribe to my channel, make sure you watch the videos that I work hard, and I think you guys will really enjoy the videos. And if there's a video topic you want me to do, definitely send that over on my social media, and I'll definitely consider it because uh, I'm here to kind of entertain you guys and, and you know talk about Dragon Ball because we're all fans and maybe educate. There might be something that you don't know. I'll try to find out for you from the Japanese and, of course, from my resources. So thank you again. Have a great weekend. Catch you guys down the road.